Hello and welcome everyone, Michael here from Matavism Team. Today in quick tutorial I'll show you how to import Atavism package out of its editor and also how to configure a client to get the best result using our uh, demo sense. So to begin with we'll go and create new project in Unity. Just select new one. We'll call this Atavism. Okay, so uh, we have a new project. Now we need to go to assets, import package custom package and here I'll go to my desktop I already download this uh, quite big file 4.3 gigabyte so we'll open it the system now will decompress and you'll get pop-up about importing but after that it will perform all the tasks and it will take quite a few minutes so we'll fast forward this part so please be patient okay so like you can see now uh, we are ready to import all the files have the the green tag new so that mean it's now updated as it is a brand new project so we'll just press import and it will take like I mentioned earlier quite a few minutes so we'll far, fast forward this Okay, so we are almost there. And like you can see, all the assets are in our project. And now what we'll need to do is to import in a correct way the sense to the project. So we'll go to file, build settings, and we'll just drag and drop the stents. Very important, and actually the most important part is the first one must be the login stem, and then we can import all other ones uh, without any sequence. So after that we can close this, and here We'll need to just double click on the login sense so it will go to our hierarchy. And we need to select a Atavism core. In Atavism core, you need to provide either the IP address that you used in your um, configuration files on the Atavism server or fully qualified domain name. In our case, it was fully qualified domain name, so we'll use it. Okay, so this part <clears throat> allow all the users when you're creating build to connect to the server that have this address. Okay, next part is we'll need to, because it is a demo scene created by uh, Dragon Sun Studios, uh, we need to just modify a few things. The first of all, we need to go to assets. If I'm correct, 
actually, sorry, it is to edit. And then uh, project settings, player, or we need to change the color to linear. It is optional, you don't have to do this, but that will just make these uh, demos then look like it is looking on a demo server. So that will also take a few moments. Okay, the next part is we will need to rebuild the asset bundles. So we'll go to assets, asset, Atavisme bundle asset bundles, build asset bundles. This will take a moment. And after that, we'll need to go, just in a moment when it finish, we'll need to go to Assets, right click, and then Show in Explorer. We'll go to Asset Bundles, and we need to copy these files without the extension that manifest. Okay, copy, and we'll go to uh, assets, uh, streaming assets, and we'll just paste it here and replace whatever is there. Okay, so the next part we need to add the target table layer. So we'll go to layers, edit layers, and here we'll get. Uh, layers and in uh, layers a it will need to select a well just type their target table okay so that's it here the next part is also <coughs> sorry we'll again need to go to settings uh, project settings player and here we need to just optimize our uh, system to just gain a little bit of performance so we need to select these points here and here <coughs> okay uh, so we have our demo system uh, ready but we need to also create and actually initially connect to Atavism editor so we'll go to Atavism online And like you can see, I have my data here, but I will just need to modify this. Or actually, I just log out. Uh, come on, server. Okay, so log in. To log in, you will use your email address that was used to obtain a Atavism license. And uh, the license that you're using to log into a panel. And a password and if I type everything correctly we should log in yes and I'm in obviously I need to just change the settings for the database in my case it's five um, just to be sure so I have too many projects uh, in different uh, versions of, of the Unity. Uh, okay, so. And we'll just test connection. It is successful. And it is also here successful. And here it's also successful. So here, like you can see, that's the list of all the modules. You can filter here. You can go to specific part of this. We'll go to mobs you'll set up new mobs here and if there is any mobs already like our bomber back so you can just modify it and see how it will work for you okay so actually I'll just bring it here okay so 
one more important part. If you're using a custom uh, server installation, and this part, I mean, start, stop, and the indication of the status of the server that will work as it is just specific for the virtual machine image that was provided by Atavism team. Okay, so now we'll just go to game and we'll create a, well, it will actually here, press play. We'll just register new user. <clears throat> Call this tutorial. See that my M was capital account has been created successfully. So now we can log in there. nearly there okay so like you see here it is the login send or actually character selection set in this case we need to create new one so we'll just call this tutti and it will be male and it will have a Mag, so we'll create. So they, we have the first character, so we can just select it and enter to the world. That will take a moment. If I didn't break anything on um, settings on the server. Like you can see here, it's starting snowing. Okay, so we see that it's working. Now what we'll need to do next is we'll just close and exit from the play. The last part that you can do, just to make sure that it's everything working, I'll I don't will ruin this, but you can go to build. And to create actual game, you'll just need to select this build that will ask you where to save the new build. And after some times of uh, compiling everything, you'll get your first uh, game or first build. If you have any questions, you can contact with us on Discord. You can contact with us on the forum and you can also contact with us through the email. Thank you for watching. See you next time.